Hi guys! It's Jessica here for a Dolly Updates video. Um, I've got a few things to go over with you. Here is my handsome Sion. Um, so a few sewing updates and um, some new resin that I wanted to introduce to you. Uh, and I did my first resin mod. Um, yeah, I guess I would consider it a resin mod. Um, this is a uh, Dolce Mystic body, and I did not, I, I got them secondhand, um, did not have the, the Geta feet, which are uh, basically so they can wear flip flops. Japanese style sandals or, or getta. Let's see, the light is so bright. There, that a little better. Um, so I just basically took a very thin file, um, and these were some files that I actually had from my Blythe carving days, and just perfect. Got in there, there was just a little sliver of resin there um, and was pretty simple. It was a pretty simple mod. Um, I have some other dolls that have similar um, just a little space there. It wouldn't be too hard to give them a separation so that they can wear these sandals. And these were just, um, I need to repaint them because they, <clears throat> it is very difficult holding them up like that. Uh, the, um, the sandals, um, they're wood and they're painted with like a black lacquer. It's almost, it might just be straight up black paint, I don't know, but it kind of seems like wood stain to me. Um, but they were kind of stuck together a little bit, and so you can see where they touch. So basically it just needs to be touched up. But these are really nice, and they were pretty inexpensive on eBay. Um, they are, they're almost, like he's got big feet. Um, he doesn't have as big a, big a feet as my 28M guy, um, cause they're over 10 centimeters and I think he's like somewhere between nine and a half and 10 centimeter long feet. So, um, but they, uh, so I ordered some more in this size and some smaller ones for some of my dolls. Um, but... <laughs> Uh, it was a really nice option for him because he's very difficult to find shoes for <laughs> so he can wear Geta sandals. Um, the only other thing that I've been able to find um, that I think would fit him are, are way too big, like the Sir, Sir Tariage or Sir Tori J. I'm not sure how they say their name. They're on Etsy. Um, they are the official... Uh, clothes makers for Dolce dolls and they're on the Dolce website. They have an Etsy. Um, you can buy stuff from Etsy <clears throat> and very high quality stuff. I have a pair of their boots uh, but they they're just so big on him. Um, so he's gonna wear sandals for now. I think it goes with his outfit pretty good. I'm very happy with him. Very happy with Sion. Um, so uh, <laughs> The the resin mod that I need to do, I haven't done that yet, uh, but I did finally restring this guy. Um, he is, a few videos back, I did a box opening. Uh, he's the um, uh, Dalshi DS... 28M, I think he's the 37, and I, I think that refers to the number of his joints. I think there's like 32, 35, 37, that part, the, 
I know he's got this this one has the most joints um, the most joint options and uh, circa 2012 or something like that but anyways I love him um, he's got that he's got that uh, thicker top to the neck so when he's had his head up like he was in that position it's not the super flattering but in a more neutral position I think it looks pretty nice and I could do a little suading on that um, I'm pretty happy with I'm pretty happy with him on this body so far I've been pretty pleased um, happier than I was having him on um, the doll zone body for some reason so so far I'm really liking this and I think that this might be where he ends up staying um, uh, dolly nudity I'm gonna show you what I have done so far uh, modification wise which was basically just hot gluing his butt joint <laughs> um, because what happens is that his butt joint pops out of it pops out a joint and that's how he sits um, so I so I hot glued this hot glued this these two butt cheeks in place and then he can he can sit um, but what what I need to do and you can see the lines I've drawn the lines there where I'm going to extend this string channel so that um, he can bring his leg up like that and sit a little um, a little more securely um, but what I've been able to do is um, I've been able to get him to sit and these pants don't fit him the best they're kind of big I haven't made him anything yet because I literally just got finally got him restrung um, last night uh, but I have I can get him to sit while wearing the pants and that was kind of like my biggest goal is I wanted to be able to make him sit clothed because um, it was you could do pop out all his joints and do all the things you're supposed to do when he wasn't clothed <laughs> clothed but it was pretty impossible to do that um, let me move out of the way here Um, I'm able to get him to sit with a nice slouch um, and without having done that mod yet let's see let me move this sorry guys there oops there so I wanted to show you um, he kind of has to spread out a little bit to in order to be stable um, if I try to push his legs together then he'll fall backwards um, but until I can do that mod at least I can he can sit next to my other dolls um, and wear clothes <laughs> because he's been he hasn't been wearing any clothes um, because I couldn't make him sit um, before so Pretty happy with that. I'm going to move him down here. Yeah, um, and uh, I did post some, a few things on my story yesterday while I was restringing him. And if I can manage it, I'll try to insert the picture here. Um, I was reminded of a bishop from Aliens. <laughs> And so I've been tentatively naming him uh, a bishop. I thought that was suiting. <laughs> and I, I also thought it was pretty suiting because I just, this body has all these crazy joints. Um, and it's just like this, it's like it's almost like he's a robot. So um, yeah, I, I probably won't make him an android or something. 
I probably won't do something sci as sci-fi as that because um, while I love sci-fi, um, that's not really, I'm not really interested in having any type of sci-fi characters or anything at this point, but I do like the name Bishop and I like the, um, um, you know, the kind of the tip of the hat to that. <laughs> Let's see, um, where should I go next? Um, maybe I will save some more sewing updates and I will introduce the new resin. Um, so, I couldn't resist this girl. She was on Instagram actually for quite a while um, and her price kept going down and she's one of the most beautiful um, fairyland dolls I think I've ever seen just she just was gorgeous um, she is a people 60 Merwin and she has a I don't know if I'm gonna say this right it's Nomians is that how you say um, I don't know if she is, is she a person you can still get face-ups from or not. I, I know I've heard of her before. So this is my first doll um, with a face-up by her and it just, I think it's just so gorgeous. But part of what's so, what I like so much about it is, is the doll itself too, of course. Um, I mean, I've seen Merwins before, um, probably mostly, um, you know, mostly mini fees and that they're a, a little different. But look at that nose. Um, I just love how defined and amazing her nose is. Like, it's hard to believe, like she's not a fairyland doll. Look at that nose, they don't have noses like that. Um, and just how well developed her lips are. She's She has a very mature aesthetic uh, com um, compared to um, a lot of mini or fairyland dolls, mini fees and such. She reminds me a lot of my um, uh, my mini fee elf Seon. Uh, she she has a lot of the kind of same features or stronger features. Um, that's another doll I would love to have. I don't think that they make a people 60 see on or if they did I'm not aware of it maybe it was one of their event heads I'm I'm not knowledgeable on all things fairyland <laughs> uh, but I really really love my mini fee see on um, and if uh, I would love to have a, a people 60 um, version of her in tan that would be incredible uh, so she's wearing a pair of, I, I'm pretty sure these are 14 millimeter Mako eyes. Um, and they just look incredible in her. They're just so vibrant and so beautiful. Um, and I do love uh, my Delphs and my, um, I guess I do have a Karsh. I was gonna say, I do have some Fairyland dolls um, that are in the people 60 Moe size and that's one of the things I enjoy about them is really big eyes um, and I do have some that are wearing 16 uh, I do think like this girl I think the 14 is just really really nice and then you can still see some whites of her eyes but still those really big beautiful eyes I just oh so um, when she arrived, uh, like I, I, I took my, um, I'm gonna say it wrong. It's a, a signe. I'm not sure how you say it. I got the vampire signe, um, which is basically like a big Lyria, and I love this girl so much. Like she just took her, she just took the body right away. She just took it, um, and that head with the purchase price and the face up was kind of expensive. Um, to be a floating head that I don't know if I have enough, if I care enough to get her her own body. 
Um, if I get another tan body, it's going to be for some other hybrid, either a Supia or something else, um, more than likely. Uh, so I don't know, I may, I may sell that girl. I don't know how well those do on the secondhand market, but um, yeah, cause she's not, she's keeping this body. <laughs> I love this doll. She is just, I just can't get over how stunning she is. Um, Hi guys, I'm back. It's another day. <laughs> it's the next day. Uh, and um, yeah, a bunch of stuff happened um, last night and uh, doctor's appointment this morning and cleaning up oh, doggy mess in the bedroom. Um, so yay, I'm back. <laughs> and I wanted, I really wanted to try to finish this video um, because there's a doll on its way. So that might uh, get interrupted. I'm sorry uh, the fan is on because it's ridiculously hot and I wouldn't be able to make this video in here if I didn't have that fan on. I hope it's not going to be too loud on the video, um, but it's definitely helping to keep it um, a lot cooler in here. But anyways, uh, I was gushing about how much I love this Merwin girl. Uh, she is she's beautiful um, I love her nose uh, she's got the big beautiful eyes that mini fee dolls have but she seems to have character not to say that I'm not trying to put down uh, mini fee or fairyland aesthetic but it's you know it's a very doll aesthetic is what I would call it um, and uh, she has a very well sculpted detailed nose that has character to it and these big lips um, with this beautiful little filter from here she's just a really gorgeous face and the way she's painted um, yeah I'm I'm just super super in love with her um, so uh, and I think I mentioned it started to mention it um, this is uh, the vampire Lyria um, or Signe. She's the Feeple 60. She's not Illyria. Um, she, uh, I paid about $2.20 for her. Um, she's in tan resin. So uh, anybody is interested in this girl, um, let me know. Uh, or if you have something you think that I'd want as trade, um, yeah, just uh, let me know if you think that... Uh, you want that girl uh, because she's keeping this body and that means that I need to <laughs> that means I'm gonna need to start, find another body for that incoming um, supia jua head uh, and I have some thoughts on that um, <laughs> I'm I'm kind of thinking about a uh, um, doll chateau body uh, um, Sarah is doing that with, uh, she put her, she had a spare rosy head or I'm not sure which rosy head she put on there, uh, on, on the, um, um, DC girl body that she just got in. And, um, I think that that's a really, really neat hybrid. Um, and I'd still be able to get the petiteness by taking out the joints and she would be really cute. So, um, because that's what I like about these, these. I am, I am kind of thinking about um, the new Supia body. It's taller than I would like. I'd like to hear more reviews on it. Um, Capricorn makes, uh, she, she posted a lot of amazing poses and things when she first got that body, um, which really uh, impressed me. So uh, really beautiful body and seemed to pose really nicely. So we'll see. Um, those are not super big priorities. Uh, um, my twiggling girls and um, uh, min ingenues and twiggling orders, those are probably going to take priority the rest of the year. Um, the other thing that's happening is that um, LLT, it's, it's La Legend des Temps. Or something like that. I never say it right. I never say it right. But the Ahaz sculpt A H A Z 
um, that is, I would consider him to be a grail. Um, to, uh, that I have been waiting for one to come up on the marketplace or for her to re-release them. Um, I, an all has in tan resin um, on, on the original body. I, um, so if that gets released this year, I will literally move mountains to get that sculpt. <laughs> um, and I think he's, I think he's pretty tall. I know he's over 70 centimeters, so um, love, beautiful sculpt, uh, the the body is gorgeous and meets my size requirements, so <laughs> um, that he's been on my list for quite a while. I kind of found out about him at the tail end of the order and it was just too late. It was just too late, unfortunately. Um, I think what else I had on my list was um, sewing, uh, the sewing things I've been working on. So I'll just kind of show you some of the things. This was, um, I want to remake this and do it a little better because this was kind of a trial run. Um, but this is a, um, in, it's inspired, uh, it's not 100% accurate. I've simplified it to down to this little tiny, like 28 centimeter doll. This is my Mary doll round dango. And this, this outfit is called the Japanese Gen J by I don't know if I'm gonna say that right um, I should have written it down on a piece of paper here for me so I can at least show you guys but it's a uh, kind of a simplified outfit that's meant to be um, like a something that you would wear around the house <clears throat> or considered pajamas but what I was reading is that sometimes people uh, will wear that like to go down to the grocery store even which I found kind of funny um, but it's basically a pair of simple shorts um, and a, um, a top, uh, and it's, um, it does have a collar on it, but it's a very, very simple, it, 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 it kind of is made very similar, um, in the way that, uh, other Japanese style robes, kimonos, and, um, um, yukatas are made. And uh, in that, uh, the sleeves are simple squares and rectangles. They don't, um, they don't make an arm scythe. Um, so modern Western, or not even that much modern, we have this um, sleeve that's circular like this and kind of follows the, the anatomy of the body. Um, but these are very simple. Um, which is nice for sewing because you're basically cutting out squares. It's easy to measure and kind of uh, make these. You're not you're not doing any complicated um, French curves or calculations for the sleeves. So these are very easy to um, draft and put together for you know variety of size dolls. Um, the the real gen buys, uh, if I'm even saying that right at all, probably not. Um, they uh, have um, like um, they do a, lo a a very loose sewing, or they use a um, a binder that has filtra filtrations in it, um, fenestrations. Talk. I'm sorry. Um, I've just been running my butt off this morning trying to do all the things that I had planned to do. So, blah. Um, but uh, anyways, because uh, the purpose of it is that you that you stay cool. This is something that you wear um, to keep cool when it's warm. So uh, I'm just I'm just wanting to make more things for my for my girl. I'm very inspired by her. Um, very, very inspired by her lately. I've been carrying her around a lot and she's just, she's just the cutest thing. Um, I adore this wig that I got from her. It's a Kagami Designs wig um, and I remember fawning over it. It was on the website and it was like, it was over a hundred dollars. <laughs> and then um, I had been just about to send her an email because it'd been up for over a year and uh, I was like, um, I'll give you 55 for it. And literally, the, 
the next morning, I hadn't sent the message, the next morning somebody sent me the link and she had it on sale for $45. <laughs> and I just was like, oh, I'm glad I didn't send that email. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I think that's pretty good for a handmade alpaca wig. Um, even one as tiny as this. <laughs> it's very well made. Anyways, uh, all the blabbing. So that, uh, I, I, I do want to redo it. Um, uh, and I think instead of using ribbon for these ties, I'll maybe use some sort of cording because the ribbon, the scale is just seems, uh, it doesn't lay right. It doesn't lay, um, see how it kind of sticks out and stuff. Um, the scale just, you can tell it's a big giant ribbon basically. Um, so it goes across like that and then it ties in here like this. Um, and then what I did, uh, I wanted uh, another layer to the collar. So I basically, I'm gonna show her little boobies, um, did this little strip like this. And I've seen that with um, some style robes and I don't know if that is authentic or if that's, you know, maybe costuming. Uh, to do that, but I've seen that with uh, kimonos and yukatas. Um, a lot of times they'll use a white scarf type thing that wraps like that and it makes it look like there's another layer, but it's just basically a scarf ended like that. Anyway, so the shorts are very simple, very, very simple, easy to draft all of this. Um, they're kind of bunched up here because she's actually wearing a pair of underwear underneath and I didn't take them off of her. Um, and I did find, I was hoping that they were going to arrive here pretty soon, um, a little tiny pair of Blythe slash A-Zone uh, Geta sandals um, that I'm really hoping are going to fit her. She doesn't have the little split between her toe, but I figured I could um, maybe use some sticky putty or something to keep them on her feet, but I hope, I can't wait till those arrive. Um... um I've got a doll coming any minute now, um, so if we get interrupted, uh, there's also a doll arriving tomorrow, which I'm I'm kind of sad that it, did, it didn't come today because I wanted to do all the box openings today because other than my appointment this morning, I have this day off, um, and tomorrow I won't get home till late. So um, the doll that's coming tomorrow probably won't get a box opening just because it'll be so late. But um, uh, I'll, I'll put this out there. It's a Mary Doll Round doll. So you guys can guess and think what, what that might be. I can't wait. It's a doll that I have been looking at for a few months now on the secondhand marketplace. And I finally, yeah, finally went for it. Um, so some other things that I have been working on is, um, tank tops basically so what I have been trying to achieve uh, is a um, simple classic tank top uh, that and I'm going to show this one because it's a um, contrasting color so you can see it a little better um, but it basically it's a knit tank top um, and then it has um, the bindings along the neckline and the armholes and it's done in the style of bias tape so um, it's it folds over the edges so that there are no exposed edges um, it's all it's all within there and it's been very challenging um, I showed I made like three or four versions trying trying um, and what kept happening was the neckline would be very um, stretched out uh, and it was also tipping out like this instead of going in. Um, and so I got some advice from a few people on Instagram and the key components is that you, you start, you sew it on the inside first and then you wrap the binding around to the front and then top stitch that because I was doing it the opposite. The other critical point is that uh, 
you stretch this. Um, you don't make it fit exactly. So your binding is actually a little shorter and you stretch it to fit this. And that helps it to um, kind of contract and it lays flat uh, instead of being, um, so that it doesn't stretch out as much. Um, Cause that's one of the struggles with knits. Um, so I'm really, I'm really happy uh, when these started to actually work. <laughs> um, things that I'm continuing to kind of struggle with is, um, so I don't even know if that's something that you can see, the stitching, see the stitching there? Um, the stitching is supposed to be, <laughs> it's supposed to look the same on the inside, uh, but I miss it. Like it's usually, it's not equal. Um, it's just so tiny, it's such a tiny scale, it's hard to get it to line up perfectly. If you're just off like a couple millimeters, you're gonna miss it entirely. Um, it's a little bit easier, I've had a little more success with, um, with the larger, a little bit larger scale. I did some for, <clears throat> this is probably gonna be hard to see though because it's such a dark doll. This is my uh, twiggling Kalo head. Um, I've been having her on this body because I miss, I had her in a box for a long time and I just felt sad about it. Um, hopefully her body will be here pretty soon. It's been like seven months now. But anyways, um, I do a little better with the did I? No, I guess I didn't do it on that one either. I lied. <laughs> uh, but it, it, it was working out a little better with the large scale. Um, isn't she a pretty sculpt? I really love her. I have a um, Dolce 26F body in the blue, I think it's called Sapphire Blue Resin. That I'm hoping is going to make a, a good match for her. If it doesn't, then I might um, try to get a, another doll she head casted in that resin um, for that body instead. Um, but uh, yeah, I have a, I think I just finished paying it off actually, but I, uh, my, my twiggling dolls that I have on layaway that I've paid off um, there's two of them now that are paid off, uh, and those were six month layaways. And so it's more like seven months because you put the payment down and then you do six months of uh, payments after that. Um, I'm not expecting those until, uh, if I get them before the end of the year, then I will be very surprised. Let's put it that way. <laughs> oh, I would love to have them. Um, but we'll see how things go. Um, uh, one of one of the dolls that's on layaway is a Kalo in the dark umber. Um, so I really love the blue resin too, and uh, it's just a matter of time <laughs> that I will have more dolls from her in the blue resin because uh, that's like my dream <laughs> to have um, twiggling dolls in blue resin. Um, so yep. Yeah really proud of these t-shirts and how they turned out. Um, I, lo I love these contrasting ones. Uh, it's very, um, um, my uh, early childhood in the 80s, <laughs> that's like, that was very, you know, everybody wore those kinds of t-shirts. It's So it's very 70s-ish to me. Um, and I made one for Kion. I'm tentatively calling her Kion. This is my Supia Hyel, if I'm saying that right, on a People 60 body. Um, so I, I'm really proud of her look right now because I made her entire outfit. This is a um, uh, lined plaid jacket, and so I think she's I think she's looking pretty cute. I made the jeans and distressed them. Um, Um, what other sewing stuff? I thought that there was 
something else I was going to show you guys sewing wise. That might be it. Um, I got uh, an amazing giant box of fabric uh, from uh, her YouTube channel and Instagram is created by monsters and um, I have been sorting the fabric and putting it away uh, so many amazing things this is a dark teal um, almost like a suiting fabric it's light though it's not super heavy but it's going to be perfect for some pants. I, I love this fabric. Um, and poor naked guy <laughs> uh, who has been naked for a long time while I work, uh, was going to restring him, um, calling him Bishop for now. He's gonna get a pair of pants out of this. That is next on the sewing list. Um, I think um, let me look around, make sure, um, Amergen, who's my Vinny 2, and he's on a 75 centimeter Idelian body, um, he is wearing, um, this was one of the jackets I made for, uh, my twiggling that's on the 28M Dolce body, and I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, it's orange, you know, it's that burnt orange, and he's got these dark, dark red pants. And I thought, oh no, that doesn't work at all. I thought about, it's not too bad though, but I think I'd like to make a version of this jacket um, with just the brown, dark brown corduroy um, with the yellow, dark yellow sleeves kind of like the the earth tones what do you think of that is that just too I'm not a huge fan of the boots they're just about the only thing that fits him I need to um, that's one of the next big things I need to do is invest in uh, shoes for all these big boys um, they don't fit anything except you know the really expensive <laughs> Sartori J, uh, or Sartoriage, however they say their name, they have some really amazing, um, or they're all going to wear Geta sandals. <laughs> um, I think I'll go ahead and wrap this up, um, because New Doll should be here pretty soon, um, and hopefully I'll be back soon with that. I have been uploading videos from my phone. Um, because I cannot get videos to go on my computer at all at this point. So I have to do all the editing on my phone and uploading from my phone, which works okay. You do, I do have to have a good signal and um, at least for the first part of it, I have to leave my phone on the page. Um, I'm, using, I'm using a program called Cute Cut. It's an app and upgraded it was like five or six dollars to upgrade to have a longer video because they would only let you do these short videos um, and of course mine are never short so I paid that um, and uh, it does have quite a few nice editing things that you can do on it so it's not a bad program so if you're needing something um, cheap and relatively easy they have a bunch of uh, YouTube videos that explain how to use it um, because I don't I didn't yeah, I thought I could just go poke around. So I had to look at the videos to figure out how to do a bunch of stuff. Um, and it's been working pretty good for me. That's these last few videos, um, maybe the last four videos or so, that's how I've been uploading them. So, um, yeah. Okay, I'll call it quits here and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.